All right, so welcome back to the ESEA Season 14 Land Finals. Make sure you register over at ESEA.net forward yep. slash uh, league yep. uh, to register for ESEA Season 15 and be a part of that $90,000 pop prize. But also, a special thanks uh, to our sponsors, BenQ, iBuyPower, and Zoe. Again, I'm Corey Dunn alongside Van Silly as we're about to get underway with map number three. Yep. We are going into map number three in the grand finals between NIP and Complexity as uh, Complexity was able to come back from a 12 to 3 deficit and take it 16 to 13 over NIP on DE Nuke. Of course, on the first map there on Dust 2, it was 16 to 11 in favor of NIP. And that brings us to Train in <laughs> map number three. You know, I was wrong saying that Inferno was uh, NIP's best map. It is actually Train, so this is going to be a very tough fight right now uh, for Complexity. Maybe we're going to see the same score situation uh, if in, if uh, Complexity is able to play good rounds uh, against an IP, especially in the pistol round. We might see the same type of style as we saw on Nuke, but let's see what's going to happen. I mean, Complexity, like we mentioned so far, every single player stepped up in their game. Sean Garris switched over from an AWP to, a, to an auto suffer, which actually helped uh, him cover the outside. Now that he's opting on a map like Train, for sure he's going to be opting. Is he going to be opting for that auto sniper or for that AWP? On uh, NIP side, these guys are on point with the pistols. These guys are on point with the rifles. They just have to keep the momentum chain uh, coming in on the uh, DE Train to win this match. Now, complexity of the win this one, we go to a second set best out of three. So everything is restarting back to zero with the remaining maps to go. While for uh, NIP, if they win this one, well, they're going to be crowned season number 14 champions. Quick shout out to Sal Volcano Groza as uh, he's been actually working currently on his version of a train as yep. well. Uh, the players here at the tournament had had the chance to actually uh, check it out, make some comments on it. Uh, so, again, just letting you know at home, there are um, people that are helping you out, wanting to help. Uh, create new maps and also make additions that need to be changed uh, on maps. So we are here on DE Train in the Grand Finals. Map number three between Complexity and NIP. Complexity going to be starting off on the counter terror side. Let's see what happens here. I mean, with the, on Nuke, I, that was crazy. I've never seen a turnaround uh, like so that. You've oh, got yeah. the pistol round, then all of a sudden you lose the pistol round or lose the, uh, lose the save round, that eco round, then all of a sudden it comes back around where you end up picking up that round and just kind of going back and could forth have been in the a, first a, three rounds. It just That's not common. It could have been a 3D SK repeat uh, from the 1.6 days back at CPL. But now let's follow with the action with the NIP consisting of the push at the lower bombsite dungeon. All right, so nothing's trying to be able to cover this area while his teammates rotate. He's backtracking. He's going to get picked off now. As we take a look there, Swag, nice shot there in the forest, able to take down one. And they're just dropping one by one as uh, Complexity's trying to continue their streak of picking up the uh, pistol round. Oh, no. And where is Get Right? <laughs> he was Ali. He has such a furthest rotate going on, oh, and that's it. Oh, man. Wow. I thought that round initially was going to go for NIP because when nothing rotated back with the pistol round, he rotated back all the way out in the open to get shot from the bomb site and also from upper ramp. But Ali Swag was already on the rotation from the Z hallway, and with help from Semphis, they dropped three easily. Semphis with the 3K. This guy is on fire in the pistol round so far, and that gave the chance for complexity to overtake, but get right too far on that rotate. Uh, uh, should I say, even on the, on the attempt to flank Complexity on that pistol round. So pistol round comes to Complexity. One to nothing is our score. Again, what well, we know, Complexity, they've now won five pistol rounds against NIP. Get ready for the rush that's going to be heading over here towards the inside. Nice decoy grenade over there. Uh, that's actually going to draw on some attention. But look at this. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> As uh, right now, they're going to try to be able to push in here towards the site. Can they be able to take up another one? Simp is right there. As Sean Garris uh, had some help there from Simphus again. As uh, they're finally going to be able to shut them down one by one. It will not happen again. As Get Right, the last man standing. They did get the bomb planted. And they will get this defuse. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They said it. The Glocks is solid right now for Freiburg. But you also had that P250. That's super solid for Forrest. At least he died earlier on in the round. And that gives another round coming in for Complexity. But two bomb plants in a row come in for an IP. They're going to have to go on a buy. So we'll see right now Swag and his teammates, the ones that only have P90s and FAMASs. Will they drop them? Well, maybe not the FAMASs, but will he drop his P90 for an upgrade? 
uh, because for sure with two bomb plants in a row, NIP is going to go for a buy. And Swag is going to opt to save it. Nope, finally. His teammate says, freaking drop that gun. So he's going to go with the Colt now. All right, see the setup now. Nothing's actually playing aggressive here towards the inside. He's got the P90. Still pushing up. Still going to be, he's, he's actually in a perfect position to flank. Let's go back over here. He makes some noise. He's going to give up his spot. Here he goes, spraying away. And now they know exactly where they're all at, but will it be enough as Swag is now down to a one-on-two? He said, well, I gave that FAMAS to Sean Gares, and what did he do with it? <laughs> so he picks up a uh, Hiko's FAMAS, and he has to worry about his flank, and get right, right there. He rotated around with him, and NIP pick up the first gun round here on train. He has to inspect that AK first. And Complacy likes to do this so far. We've seen them repeated uh, as well uh, in other matches. Now Sean Garris is going to buy a scout. Done. You gave him some pointers. Let's see if he can get something done. Yeah. Nothing with a, uh, with a Max 7. So they're going to play probably an aggressive inner right now uh, with nothing. Yes, yeah, so we've got a Mag 7, two FAMASes, a scout. Scout to spot. A scout, just a scout. <laughs> There you go, nothing able to take down Exist to 13 HP. He's gonna fall back because given away his position, the AK is definitely much stronger than that Mag 7 long range. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh. Nothing turns around, picks up a nice shot there, but really they've been spread throughout the map here. Thanks for the AK. But everybody else, you said, like you said, they're spread out across the map and they're low now. Exist and 4 is down to 13 and 18 HP respectively. They're giving up the inside. They're completely giving it up. They're going to all stack towards the outside right now. They're spread. Let's see what they've got so far. Uh, taking a look here, you've got uh, Simphis, who's out in the open right now. He's going to get taken down here. Is, he's going to push around. He does not be able to pick up the kill. Now it's going to be left up to the scout. It's going to do work there onto Fuflaren. And they're all low, so it's all a one shot. So I it's call like it, an NWP. I call it the assist maker. <laughs> All he needs is one shots on each of the three members. And it's of quick. The movement's is. quick, too. This might actually work out. And uh, no worries to be found. He's going to save it. going to save the scout. That's funny. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had the chance to say someone's going to save a scout. <laughs> I'm happy, uh, though. Well, at that point, like, they went for that surprise buy. Uh, nothing had a great round. They almost clutched this one as well uh, on the outside because, like you said, they gave up towards that inner bomb side. They stacked towards the outside, so they had the great positioning. NIP just went out and got uh, and were just better on the firepower. Now, at this point, since they went for the surprise buy, they're going to have to save again. So saving that scout is actually a good idea for Sean Garris. The assist maker. Two to two. I don't even know what you call that. It's not really a buy round. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Let's take a look now. Uh, doesn't hit a shot there. As he's just spamming around through with that uh, scout. Backtracking now. Let's take a look from Swag's perspective. He's going to get taken down. Now back to Sean Gares, who's still holding on to that scout. And he steps up on top, and he misses. As now he's going to be, be on the lookout for it. And he's going to get spammed through the garage door there through train three. Three to two now is the score. So he goes gonna buy whatever he can, which is gonna be the FAMAS. Sean Garris trying to debate with nothing to see if he was gonna get an op drop from uh, nothing, but no, he's gonna go with the Colt. So it's gonna be a full rifle gun round here for complexity as the score is 3-2 in favor of NIP. NIP, uh, looks like we're running back for spawn to buy an extra need coming in here as they threw some initial ones at the beginning of the round. And that's good. That's actually to try to sell a fake towards the outside, bind their nades, and they're going to try to commit towards inner or outside the ladder. But all five have compressed inside the white halls. And the action is going to be happening very soon here, Doug. All right, you got nothing to right here. 
Not really sure exactly what kind of position we're seeing here. He's John Gares is watching the upper side as he peeks up there. They will take down one. Oh, turns on another one. What are you doing? You didn't expect a second oh, one to peek you out. Look out. Sean <laughs> Gares is there too. And it's going to be left up to get right right now. He's down to a one on four. And nothing picking up two. Sean Gares picking up two. And has a gun round coming in there. Now, I think this is the third time. You said that he won five pistol rounds, so I think Complexity won every single pistol round so far in this series. Except for one. And also, now you're looking at... So four, I guess. Three in a row where they actually won pistol rounds and lost the second round. And they have, and then it, it's a back and forth, except for Nuke. But now as this gun round is coming in, another, another full gun round for both teams. I apologize. Like they have won four pistol rounds. Four? Okay. Yeah, my... Uh, They've won four. They won one on Dust 2, and then they won two on Nuke, and then one in here on Train. So they've won four pistol rounds. Okay. But now it's a full gun round nonetheless here. Beautiful, man. Setting up here. They're going to do a 2-1-2. Two, two. Bomb carrier is going to go ahead through the default inside of T-Mid. Forrest just spotted Swag. Pico's just on the other side now. Swag one does one. take down one. Freiburg's over there still as well. Look at the position there for Simphus. He's using this barrel right here. Hikos goes down. Uh, Sean Gears throws a perfect grenade. And Simphus just on the other side. He's going to get spotted there. Where's nothing at? Nothing's rotating back around now. He's worried that they might have a player going there through Z. Get right down to 21 HP. He's going up there towards CT Heaven. Not really watching his main position right now. Get right still up on top here now. As we go back over here to nothing. Nothing pushes up through through the ladder. Able to pick up one. There's Flaren. Flaren low on health. Six Spot bullets it. left here in that. Uh, in his, uh, he's not going to be able to take him down. Flaren picking up the kill there. Four to three now in favor of NIP. Unfortunate there for nothing as he was trying to get that shot in on that last member. Uh, fifth, And he was actually hitting just this side of that silo uh, while you had that peak advantage on that T side. That round is going to come in for NIP. Much need a round for complexity on that last one, but now that's going to put them in a safe situation. Uh, now with P250s. They have to get rounds. There's no question that complexity needs to pick up rounds um, now. They, uh, they, if NIP, they'll win, if they win this round, by default, typically, that's the way it should be, but uh, I never, you never know now. Mm-hmm. Now Swank and Semphis going with Deagles. Sean Garrison nothing with P250s. Hiko with his comfortable 5-7. Swag actually spotted two earlier on inside the alley. He was able to pop down for us to 64 HP. And Nate is going to put them down to 60. But uh, it's still a very slow game for NIP right now. As uh, the two guys in alley falling back towards that middle uh, might be compressing for a 2-2 split on the outside. From ladder and from Tcon. Make that three out from Tcon now. As Hiko's going to get shot from four different directions. Going to be able to push in here. We're on board with Gidright. Gidright able to pick up two. Oh, and Swag was able to headshot four, so he finished the job there. But now the score's going to be three to five. Yeah, nothing more you could add to there. As they went for that smoke in the flashes and have two guys come out towards the ladder room and also from TCON, uh, NIP was just able to get the better long-range fights against Complexity who only got one kill from that pistol safe. But at that situation, two rounds before, um, they were tight on the money situation. Even if they went for a, for a pistol save, they actually had to get a few kills to be able to sit comfortably with better weapons. Now there's only Sean Garrison from Moss, but I'm pretty sure he'd rather be offing or auto sniping right now, where he still hasn't had a chance. Flash coming out there, Simphus putting some shots down. As he hits the railing, not in the position that he wants that to end up falling. Maybe. As, uh, it still kind of works out for him there. As uh, Force is low on hell, down to a four on four now. That's his teammate that he shot at. Uh, that was Hiko, I believe. Yep, Hiko was uh, hopped up there onto this, uh, up into heaven. And now it's going to be down to get right. Down to a one on three. Hiko low on health. Now he's been spotted. You can see Get Right trying to bunny hop his way. Uh, but he will get taken down there by nothing. 
Yeah, at that point, get right. You see Milan as the last man standing on T side. He is that lurker. He is the one that's going to try to flank. He's the one that's going to try to cr uh, catch people off guard on rotations here for NIP. But this time, Complexity just rotated it fully as soon as he saw uh, a lot of NIP members on the outside having a full man fight, full two team fight on the outside. And then Get Right was just a little bit uh, too far behind here coming down the ladder at the end. So that round is coming in for Complexity. Uh, of course, NIP is going to be able to buy again. But if we lose this one, we might see a save coming in or a full armor P250 strat again. All right, so you're going to see Forrest, who's been boosted up onto the fence right now. They're going to peek him from two different angles now. Black has no problem with this. He actually stays uh, with full health now. We're going to smoke Swag's side. Good cover from that pillar again. See if uh, Force is still up there. Nope. Fell down. Let's go back over here to Symphus. Symphus playing close quarters right here. And he's, his feet's going to get spotted there by Exist. Exist was just waiting. Hiko did spot one there inside of T mid. Sean Gares has changed his position. Now he's going to be watching right here towards the inside. Nothing is going to hold down the inner bomb side by himself still. Exist trying to take a peek there. They will be hitting here towards the outside. Yep. Swag is still, he smoked up there to Ivy. And so he's going to start to be able to check his spots, make sure everywhere is clear right now. He does spot one. He spotted him through the smoke, uh, utilizing that radar. And right now, Hiko and Sean Gares going nice. to town there on the outside. We do have uh, Swag who's worrying about Freiburg over here. Fuck up the kill. He didn't have enough uh, ammo in that magazine. And now it's going to be left up to Freiburg. Down to a one on three. Ten seconds left there, and he will get taken down. Five to five now is the score. This time, Hiko did have his moment to shine. Sean Garris as well with two kills. Hiko with three on that last round. Sean Garris with the first initial call, spawning the first one in the ladder room. Smart play by NIP to try to commit towards out the outside, though, because as they got the first kill inner, they know that only three guys were working towards the outside, so it would actually be a five on three. But as Sean Garris got the opening kills and Hiko dropped the bomb carrier, then it was just uh, uh, the tides have turned for complexity on that round to be able to win that one. Aim was better. We've seen Get Right do this before. Sean Gary spots one. He's three on the inside. They're going to work towards the inside. He has the auto sniper shooting legs off. Yeah, but right now that's going to allow them to be able to push in here. He's completely blind. Nothing's going to be there to give him some cover fire there. Bomb will get planted there. As he continues to be able to push up there. Sean Gears on the other side. He's going to spot one. That's going to be Symphus who's going to continue to be able to spray here. Freiburg hiding out in the smoke. He's going to get taken down. He does drop Sean Gears through the process. They will pick up that auto snipe. Six to five now, though, in favor of complexity. Now, what was Sean Gears with two kills before and Hika with three? This time it's nothing with three and Symphus with two. They're all stepping up so far. Swag is going to have his problem. Probably his moment to shine inside the alleyway as well. But a great strat inner right now for uh, uh, for Sean Garris and Nothing to play very close to each other by the bomb site and Pop Dog. Uh, Sean Garris with scoping through with that auto sniper spotted three guys crossing through the lower ramp, which uh, gave the opportunity for Nothing to set up and watch that upper ramp and get those two opening kills. All right. Gonna go ahead and take a look here. You've got Exist who's over there working there towards the ladder area. Let's go and switch back over here to nothing. Nothing over the top. Uh, Hiko has been able to spot one. He took down Freiburg. Hiko's still going to town now. Switches over to the AK. He's pushing through. He's going to get spotted through the smoke. There goes nothing. Now it's going to be left up to Swag. Now down to a one on two or two on two. Uh, Exist and Get Right both very low on health. Nice. And Swag will be able to finish the job there. Get Right is all the way over here. One minute left on the clock, he's going to save his gun or attempt to flank all the way around, sorry, because one minute to save, why don't you try to go for a clutch here or, or a flank? And he was spotted, though, by Swag, so they're closing in on him right now from upper and lower. Don't know if they know the bomb is down on the outside of A right now. Right, great exchange by the two. Sean, uh, Sean Gares was peeking out as soon as that flashbang popped out. Swag. Uh, basically uh, changed shift with him and uh, picked up that kill. Seven to five now. Yeah, even though they maybe they didn't know the bomb was down on the outside, 
the way that it was called in their positioning after and the way where uh, Get Right was actually standing, it was actually easier for them to cover that inner bomb site. He was pinched right now, that nip player, that last player standing uh, from upper and lower. So at least they got that frag. Flexi's in the lead. Two more rounds to go in the first half. And uh, they're playing such a good game so far against Ninjas in Pajamas. Going to be pushing here towards the outside. Here we see nothing. Nothing's making all of these. He's making some really great call outs. Uh, he will get taken down. The bomb is planted. They're going to start to be able to rotate back around. Let's go switch over on board here with Hiko. Hiko going to the high ground. Simp is right there as well. They're going to continue to push down here, down this passageway. Simp has a lot of faith in his teammates to give him some control there. Swag able to pick up one. Now it's going to be left up to get right. Get right down to a one on two. Going up the ladder, he's going to get uh, stopped there. And the bomb just needs to get a defuse. 8 5 now. Yeah, and so far in IP is uh, playing well with the money system so far, though. They've bought pretty much every single round, and at least they're able to get bomb plans down every single time as well. So they're always putting a tough fight against Complexity so far, but Complexity has been playing a great teamwork and good crossfire setup. Uh, at this point now, uh, we have two more rounds to go. Sorry, I thought it was uh, two before, but it was actually three. Score is eight to five in favor of Complexity. Uh, NIP is going to be able to uh, are going to be able to buy after planting the bomb on the last round on the outside. Uh, they also have full needs and full armor. Uh, but at this point, though, um, you're looking at the scoreboard. They have uh, 200 bucks each, except for uh, Freiburg at zero. All right, now we've got Sean Gears. He's not going to spot that there. Oh. As Get Right knows how to kind of battle with that. He's right there tossing out a flashbang. And uh, oh. Get Right almost wins that battle, but uh, ends up getting taken down. We switch back over here towards this side. This battle will continue uh, over there towards Ivy as uh, even though there's a smoke there, there's still a blip on the radar. Yeah, what happened there was Get Right was trying to play that, uh, that fake towards inner while the rest are, are, were on the outside on a split, and they actually did take Swagger early in the round, which gives them the advantage to work towards the outside. Pushing over the top there, nothing able to pick up one. It's going to be left up to Sean Cares. 30 seconds left here in the round now. Take his time now. Of course, get right did cause a ton of damage to him. And so NIP will tip, pick, take this round six to eight now. Still in favor of complexity. Yeah, again, that round came down to that one versus one. At the beginning of the round between Forrest and Swag, Forrest dropped him quite easily and early in the round. What Garrett was trying to do in her, uh, at least when he got picked off by Sean Garris, Sean Garris thought that maybe they're going to still try to work towards that inner bomb site. So Sean Garris was still stuck in inner, giving a four on three advantage for NIP to work towards the outside. And I don't think, I think there was maybe a little bit of miscommunication for Complexity as well, because nothing was up in heaven, and at least he got the kill, but never realized that somebody was coming up the ladder until the last second. Last round of the first half, though, of course, everybody's going to buy, and we'll see who's going to overtake this one, as we have the same scratch so far going on for NIP. Have you got Freiburg in force working over here towards the Ivy Way. Over on the other side, you've got Get Right and Exist. Over by the ladder, get right still lurking there towards the inside, toying with, which is now Sean Gears. And then as for Foflaren, he's inside of mid. So all in case, uh, they've wasted a good chunk of their nades so far. The bomb has been dropped there inside of the, the locker area. Up on top of the ladder. And so Sean Gears, I think he let one by, he didn't realize it. Uh, there is action happening over there on the other side, though. As let's go and switch back over here to Symphys. Symphys peeks out, takes down Freiburg. Forrest did get dropped down to lower HP. And Get Right, I believe, uh, actually, this is Exist, who's worked his way through. Will he see? He will not see Sean Gares there. Oh, man. And Sean was able to take down the bomb carrier, but he does not know that uh, Exist has made his way into the site right now. Neither does Symphys. Symphys is going to get taken down. There is Sean Gares. Sean's going to take down for Flaren. And Exist was going to town, and there goes Forrest. 9-6 is going to be your first half score. 
in favor of complexity. Maybe it seems as though it was to uh, Sean Garrett's advantage that he actually let uh, Exist pass. Maybe he didn't see him, but since Exist didn't see him as well, he thought that the inner bomb site was clear. So that bomb carry that went down toward the lower ramp, easy shots for Sean Garrett uh, to actually get the first two because the second one that picked up the bomb was picked, up, picked off as well. So the rest on a rotation, at least Sean Garrett fell down from Exist. And also from, uh, and Semphis also fell down from Exist, but the, r the ones remaining that rotated back were able to take him out and win this round. So Complexity win this first, wins, sorry, this first half, 9-6 to six, as we're waiting for the second half to go. Everybody getting ready. I can't seem to find my words on that analysis. That kind of sucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. It happens. Benzelay, I will say, it has been fun casting with you again. It's good to be uh, reunited again for the cast. I mean, we uh -huh. haven't done this since WSVG 2005. Uh, and actually, uh -huh. it's fun to be back to cast a game that I love. Yep. Counter-Strike uh, has been my bread and butter, and for you as well, for yep. the longest time. And we've casted some of the best matches uh, <laughs> back in the 1.6 days, in the CPL days, and also now WSVG. And it, it's good to be back to see that uh, some players are returning as well in the Counter-Strike GO community, and a new wave of uh, new gamers coming in into the competitive scene of uh, the Counter-Strike GO community, and that's what I love. Um, people are coming back into the competitive field. I think what, I'm, what I'd like to see, though, instead of having not only having ESCA LAN finals where people are competing online to come into the LAN playoffs, but back in the days when we had those CPLs and those uh, WSVGs where it was open signups and yep. coming into the brackets. That's why we saw so many local teams and so many pugs coming in together yep. to just try to have that fun experience to compete, have a chance to maybe compete against a top team, but also having fun to meet their, their friendly gamers that they always play with all the time. Back in the day where you had Tech, you had TEC, you had Mug and Mouse, you had yeah. a lot of the local Texas teams, and then you had teams Tau. from all over, and Tau, uh, Texas Area Untouchables. Um, then you also had teams from all over the world like Lunatic High, um, WMV, Hacker Gaming getting the chance to uh, show off some East stuff there. Show, MIBR, G3X. Uh, Four Kings as well. Yep, yep. MIBR. Um, so all of these guys, I mean, <laughs> we're just uh, we're, we're gonna name drop everybody from the one. Yeah, bro, this is this <laughs> this is what we know. <laughs> Check no, it out. It, it's just insane because back then the, there were so many good teams, right? But yet you still had 120 teams come to these events because they know that they don't have a chance to win money, but they're just there for fun. And now it it's seems pride. like everybody is playing for money. Uh, well, not everybody, but I'm looking at, you know, oh, I don't have a chance to come to, to a finals. I don't have a chance to win a playoffs. I'm not going to compete on one. Right. You know, it comes down it, to that. It used to be, I know that during our day, it used to be about pride, and that's really what it was about. Mm -hmm. um, the top teams were, were, were basically working off of sponsors and not for prize money. That's yep. what it was about. Yep. Um, we've had some great things that have happened, but over time, you know, it does. It, it, it's, it's a job. I mean, you and I both know this, too. That, yeah. uh, you know, we... We couldn't, you know, stay alive just off of um, making money casting. That's yeah. just not going to happen. But, but this one is on the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's exactly. Start That's what I was going <laughs> to round it in there. <laughs> All right, so let's go and see if Complexity can pick up another pistol round. As we're on board with Force, Bomb is going to get planted there. Force picking up another one. The Bomb will not get planted as nothing gets taken out there by the flare. It's going to be left up to Hiko. And that's going to do that. So they do not win another pistol round. And only one kill in the bomb plant, like you said here, Dunn. It's going to be tough for Complexity to see what they're going to do in this second round. Of course, in my opinion, it's going to have to be a full save. I don't think they're going to even go for Deagles or anything like that on the second round. So probably full blocks uh, to at least attempt to get the bomb plant down to maybe get something done on the third one. Smoke radar for the win. This is what I've been talking about the whole time. That's what nothing just <laughs> mentioned. It is. It's difficult, and it's something that does need to be fixed for, I believe it's just LAN. I don't think it's some new fix that the, it's because of the new USP and all that stuff. And that's what a lot of players are thinking that's what it is. Uh, I think it's just a, it's a radar glitch uh, for LAN um, that just came back out with the update. Uh, that, so that just needs to be fixed. So all you have to do is really just scan. Uh, so now it's going to be down to a 1v4, and now the score's going to be 8-9. to nine. And only one kill again uh, coming in from Hiko. He had uh, one kill in the pistol round, one kill in this save round. Uh, at this point, though, uh, I think we're just going to go with uh, more comfortable deagles this time. So probably Hiko with a, maybe a 5-7. No, he's going to go with a P250 on T side. 
Oh, yeah, because you can have a 5-7. Yeah, if you're pretty. just now tuning in, this is map number three. It has gone uh, here between Complexity and NIP. NIP winning the first map on Dust 2. Uh, the next map, Nuke, went to uh, Complexity, where they won that one 16-13. to And here we are now on map number three on Train. 9-8 to right now is the current score. Uh, this is a save round. Let's go ahead and switch over here to Fafuera. They're going to get it. He's go got it yeah. off. Yeah, exactly. He was able to spawn feet, and everybody from Complexity were all stacked up at the staircase getting ready to go, but no smokes being thrown. So they just tried to jump across, but a lot of feats were being spotted, so they can't commit right now to this site. All right, so we see right now you've got Kid Right, who's now changed positions there with Buflaren. Buflaren missing again. He really hasn't had a lot of chances to op. He, in the initial stages for CSGO, he was the main opper. And then that kind of got exchanged out there with Forrest. And so he's just going to peek out every now and then. And he misses again. Uh, so far, he's missed four shots. But get right on the other side. That's probably where we need to focus. As uh, get right is taking it. Oh, oh through my the God. Smoke. Radar much. <laughs> <laughs> Two silence USB kills. Semphis, the last man standing on the upper ramp with the Deagle. Gets picked up by Forrest from behind. And that's going to be all tied up 9 to 9. But again, it was all safe rounds, so no bomb plans coming in for complexity, uh, so they couldn't go for a surprise buy. We're going for a default fourth round gun round on this second half. And to stress it again, <laughs> if we have complexity win this map, <laughs> we're going to go into another set best out of three. If NIP wins this half, then they're going to be crowned the season number 14 ESEA League champions back-to-back -back from season 13. Back-to-back. -back. All right, so it's going to be the first real gun round here in the second half. Exist spots one. He was trying to be able to pick off Semphis. Now it's going back and forth. Now it's going to be Forrest over the top. He's going to try to scan through the smoke. There's Forrest into nothing, but he wasted a full clip to be able to take down nothing. Now it's going to be down to a two-on-two. Two. Bomb is down out in the open. But Flaren has missed numerous shots so far. This one's going to connect, though. He's picked up two in the round. Now it's left up to Simpis. Oh, he said, battle me like a man. And uh, Fafleren said, no. <laughs> and so Simpis said, well, I'll do it this round. I'm the better man. And that was a burly man. Uh, <laughs> now it's going to be down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Get right in uh, Simpis. Simpis has picked up three kills in the round right now. He's got an AK in hand. And get right is just going to pl play the waiting game. And it's good for Simpis, though. He still has a lot of time to work See. with. Still two flashes in his smoke. The bomb is down. It's actually going to be down. Yep, right at the middle by E-Box. So he's still waiting there. Get right hasn't moved in the past 25 seconds because he's actually listening for sound. He heard right now Semphis drop from the trains. Now you can see him moving in his crosshair towards that wall, trying to see where the audible is coming from. No! And Get Right picks up that kill. That's gonna be a big one there. Yeah, that one v one was huge for Get Right. And that, and that being said, Semphis, who went for that smoke and actually didn't plant through the smoke, I think he thought that Get Right was gonna come through the ladder room, so he was gonna fake a smoke and plant inside, right at the middle of the bomb train. But never thought that Get Right was gonna be at Z because he's been waiting there forever. He has been waiting there forever. Um, so right now you can see Get Right sitting at six and zero. Oh. After he picked up four kills in that one save round. He'll be pushing through. Get right, able to take down Simphis. Oh, man. Playing super aggressive. Yep. Nothing. Utilizing the smoke, saying why not? But headshot to come out here by <laughs> Get Right. Well, he can follow the follow the bullet. The bullet trail too, yeah. Now. And so now it's gonna be left up to Swag and Sean Gares. Scan, scan, scan. See if you can uh, find your way through the smoke. Yeah, it's all up to Sean Garrison Swag so far, both of them at 0 and 4 in this second half. Swag with an AK, Sean Garrison with a Galil. And they're still going to try to work for him in the bomb fight. Swag was half blind there. But Flair, let's go back over here to his perspective now. As the team is going to rotate over there. Now they're going to have to deal with all four members here from NIP pushing out. But Flair and knocks Swag off the train. And Sean Garrett now spraying away. He's going to be caught where he doesn't want to be. And Fafleren picks up another kill. Two kills coming in for Fafleren. 11 and 9 now. I have 
Anytime I've ever casted a game for NIB, I've always mentioned that train is definitely not where you want to compete against them on. Just because their CT is so strong. They rotate properly. Uh, they mix things up. You'll see Get Right who would use a, an auto snipe. The fact that we're seeing for Flare and Op right now. Quick push out there from mid by Swag. So this is a save round coming in here for Galaxy. One Deagle, three two fifty two fifties left. As actually with their pistols, they're still all spread out. They're, they're counting on pickpops with pistols like Forrest did on you. <laughs> Get right lofting a grenade. And knocking nothing down. Back over here to Get Right. He's got his teammate of Flaren. See if Flaren get one there. There we go. Now Flaren's heating up. As Flaren watching that upper side, Get Right watching the lower. They've got a two man push, but look out. Here comes it. Forrest. Forrest is right there. Able to take down Sean Gares. Add that to the stat track. As he pushes back in, and Forrest picks up another one. I wish I could say that was 178 kills uh, that has happened here at the event, but no. <laughs> He's been pubbing as well. So, of course, that save round coming in for complexity. Sean Garris debating if he should op, and there you go. He's opping on T side of train. At this point, is he going to try to go for a quick pick into Ali from TCON? Because only one member of NIP is going to need from Z. And it's going to be quite slow, actually. He's not going to go for that pick. He's actually going to try to go for a double boost on fence to pick towards that alleyway. So he's going to be faced off against Freiburg here. And Fafleren, that are two, those two are both over there. Fafleren went ahead and passed through. Take a look now. Nothing is going to toy with him. He does not know. Oh, no. I don't believe Sean actually meant to do that. But Fafleren pushed up inside of mid, deep inside of mid, and take, he took down Swag to go back towards alleyway to watch that uh, alleyway, but it's been smoked off, so that nullifies that off from the this. T side. He's now rotating, he, he rotating, went all the way from here, now he's rotating all the way back around to be able to join, uh, get right here inside of mid. He also can work, work back towards Z as well, so let's go and hop back into the action here. We're gonna see what happens with nothing. Nothing is gonna get taken down by Freiburg. Down to a three on five now. Just moving around the map. And Sean Garris picks up a nice one, but he peeks back out before the recoil happens. And Forrest picks that one up, adding to the stat track, now tapping out at 180. <laughs> Money bonus coming in. We're going to be able to buy here for complexity, except for Sean Garris, who bought the expensive AWP, like you said, uh, where he's probably going to have to go with a Galil. Indeed, he will. Uh, full needs coming in and armor as well. Um, I don't know what's going on here for uh, for complexity on T side. They tried to go for the pick, but then they were never really able to see anyone uh, on Ali side. And like you said, Fifth Laren pushing all the way through Tcon with an EWP. That's the kind of things that would throw oh, you off. No. Flashbangs coming out. Swag blocked that one. Now can continue to push out there. Back over here to Swag's perspective. He's got some cover fire there with nothing. Let's go ahead and take a look here with Freiburg. Freiburg, he's going to be able to take down Sean Gares. Bomb's going to get planted inside the site. Switches over to the Galil, trying to be able to contest still within this battle. Nice. Now you've got Exist, who's up on top of CT Heaven. Get right inside of Z and Fuflaren rotating now. Let's go back over here to Fuflaren. Fuflaren missing. Now it's going to be, he's going to be the last one standing as if it's nothing picked up too. Uh, this round will go to complexity. As the bomb will continue to tick away, they will go for the chase. They're going to allow uh, nothing to hold down this point. And let's go and switch over here to Hiko. As uh, he will be able to hold on to this weapon here. Hiko might actually spot him if he continues. Nope, doesn't go down that path. And they will spot him at the end. <laughs> and they exchange between the two. Uh, so 13 to 10 now. So far, at least they heard Fifler and in the money situation, but they were still sitting comfortably for NIP. Fifler is going to be able to get another one right now. Uh, and after this full gun round, after buying everything, Forrest is still sitting at $10,000. So these guys are looking good, moving into possibly two or three rounds. It's because if you look at Dover on the other side, uh, paying attention to the deaths, they've got two deaths in the past eight rounds. Mm -hmm. Uh, for four of their players. So they're going to be set no matter what you look at it. Uh, they've been winning numerous rounds in a row. You add the, the money bonus from that, uh, from just picking up winning rounds, so th 32 50 uh, across 
consecutive rounds. I mean, they're, they're, it totals up quick. Of course, they're going to be stacked for a while. Yeah, Tikon push right now, though, as uh, Sean Garris is setting up some nades at the beginning of the round. And here they come with 2-2 two, two from oh, Tikon Oh, leg Simphus. Uh, Simphus is going to stay live long enough here. They're going to be able to peek out. Flashbangs coming out. Tons of flashes. It's like a disco and uh, a get right and exist push out. So uh, Force has been able to pick up one. Now it's going to be left up here to Simphus and Hiko. Simphus is actually on the flank right now. I don't know about this. Get right to actually oh. lurking and looking for it. That's surprising. I think it was just because uh, Simphus ran just a little bit too much. Maybe, yeah, I agree could have been with that. By get right because Get right was already turned around the angle and was waiting for that while his teammate was trying to opt towards that outside. So it was just a little bit of a timing issue going on, but this now they puts probably hurt him right around here. Yeah, this I probably think. puts NIP now at tie point situation. Comfortable in the money, while complexity is not going to try to save and tie. They're buying whatever they can here to force uh, by this round. 14 to 10 here in map number three. We're here with NIP and Complexity. As you can see the setup here, he actually has a smoke grenade in his hand here. Set up here, looking, you can see, we can't see it, but at the top of your screen, uh, there's just a sliver that he can see through. And so he's ready, so now he's gonna go ahead and back up. And tosses a deep smoke. Still waiting here. Bomb carriers, shot carriers. Who's just spamming through right now? Let's go ahead and take a look here at Symphus, though. Symphus is going to battle here with the Flaren. Uh oh. Forest creeping up. Right there. And oh, he gets hit by the uh, grenade. He <laughs> loses a point of armor. <laughs> As they're going to go ahead and start to be able to push here towards the inside. There goes one. Back over here to Forrest. Forrest, close quarters, able to take down one. Tries to be able to shut down nothing. Not going to happen there. Now down to a three on three. Swag has one health right now. 20 seconds left here in the round. Bomb finally going to get picked up there by nothing. Nothing moving in to the side. Now they're going to force something to happen here. Hiko able to pick up one. Swag still sitting up there up on top for Flaren. He's going to oh, no. get spotted there. He's going to peek out here in just a second. Swag. Still trying to be able to take him oh. down. And an overkill from Fofleren. And Freiburg will get the defuse. 15 to 10. That could have been so close. Swag actually saw Fofleren before Fofleren saw Swag by running through that smoke. His legs were there at that corner. His Just his burst wasn't there to connect onto Fofleren. And if actually the tides, the tides would have turned because they would have been able to play that timer and maybe even clutch it uh, on a one versus one. But nonetheless, NIP wins this one, and they are now at championship point. As we see here, complexity is bought whatever they can. We'll see what happens. Let's take a look at the defense here for NIP. Get right, watching the inside. You have Forrest watching ladder and also helping out with exist inside of mid. Uh, Freiburg and Fafleren working together here over inside of Ivy. Let's see if he can make a peek here. Oh, he connects onto Sean Cares. And he's going to peek back out. He spotted Hiko now. He's going to be watching out there, and Hiko says, yep, Fafleren. He is hitting all of his shots right now. Gitterine's going to smoke up over there. Now he's going to fall back. He's going to allow his uh, to be able to be there for a quick rotate towards the inside. He's already actually committing there towards the inside. Fafleren again taking down another one. Freiburg rotates. It's going to be left up now to swag and make that. It's all up to nothing. Down to a 1v5. He's able to take out one, and that will do it. 16-10, to 10, the final score of... DE Nuke map number three, and that's going to finish it. Two to one is your finals here with NIP and Complexity. Wow. So NIP takes this one. Complexity, they fought their way, and they were able to beat Curse, even though they got sent down to the loser bracket. But NIP coming out on top here over Complexity, and they'll go home uh, with that $20,000 
And uh, the upside for complexity is they will. Exactly. Uh, they've, they've gained that spot there to represent the U.S. Yep. There for ESWC. Uh, they did take a map away from NIP, and they did it in a very uh, fun fashion as it was 12-3 to going into that first half on Nuke. Mm -hmm. And they were able to come all the way back. And that's even after losing the second round, even though they picked up the pistol round. Yep. They were able to come all the way back. Um, to be able to win that one 16 to 13, but in the end of the day, it's the map counts that matter, and NIP takes two maps to one there in the grand finals here at the ESEA Season 14 Land Finals. So we're going to take a quick break, and then after that, we're going to have the interview with our winners, so make sure you guys stay tuned and also get ready to register for season number 15 at ESEA.net forward slash league. For Corey Dunn and myself, Van Silly, we'll be right back with the interview with our winners, NIP.